In the last tutorial, we saw how we can perform registration manually. In this example, I'm going to be showing you how you can perform a registration using the built-in function that 3 d Slicer provides. So for this purpose, we are going to be needing the data again. And I'm going to take the same example that I took earlier, which was the Pratt's sample example. So simply, we are going to click on this Add Data button, and then we are simply going to copy and paste these files over here. There are different ways to add the data. You can simply choose the directory to add or specific files to add, or you can simply drag the folder and put it into this and click on OK. Once we, we are done with this step, as you can see, we have loaded these two MRIs. If I go to the view controller to visualize this after linking the slices, as you can see, if I scroll this, on top, I have the flare volume and in the bottom, I have the T1C volume. I'm going to be setting it to 50% to show you how much misaligned this MRI is. Another uh, thing that you can do to make sure that it is um, misaligned is by using the checkerboard filter, which I showed you in the last example as well. So now to perform segmentation, we are simply going to go to this drop down function again and go to this registration and select general registration option. Here you have different options. Okay, so first thing first, when we are performing co-registration or any operation, we need to make sure that we have a template image on which we are co-registering the other MRI, right? So in this case, I'm going to set my fixed image or the template image to be T1CE. I'm going to go back to the view controller to show you. So for example, this image is properly aligned and it is straight and it is in the center, right? So I'm going to take this as an example template meaning I'm going to take it as a fixed image. This image is very much misaligned as you can see something like this. And if we uh, try to overlay it on top of T1C, it is very much misaligned. So this will be our moving image, the flare one, and T1C will be our fixed image. So going back to the registration, general registration option, I'm going to select the fixed image to be T1CE and the moving image to be flare. Once you are done with this step, you can change the percentage of samples and the grid size depending upon how much you want to uh, set the size of registration. I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm not making any changes right now. Next, we, are, we can select from either of these two options. Either we want to perform linear transformation or we want to perform the BS spline uh, transformation. I am going to select this linear transform. You can, of course, go through these options and see which works for you, depending upon the example you are working on. Next, I'm going to select the input image volume. This will give me the output result or the co-registered flare volume. You can set the name by yourself, whatever you like. I'm going to select co-register flare to T1CE. Okay. So once I'm done with this name, I'm simply click on OK. Uh, once we are done with that, I am going to select this option. When we are initializing the transform mode, I'm going to select use center of header line. You can go through different options and see how they work when you are experimenting, of course. Next, these are the registration phases. These are basically based on these phases. What happens is that uh, when co-registration is happening, what happens is that we are basically scaling, translating, sharing, moving the image so that it comes to this T1CE format, right? So I'm simply going to click on rigid button, this rigid transformation with 60 OS. Next, we can also select this uh, image preprocessing steps if we want to perform any. Next, we can also go through these, uh, go through these output options. And in this interpolation mode, I'm going to select BS spline option. You can select any option depending upon the task you are doing. So uh, once we are done with it, we are simply going to click on this apply button. Okay, so to better demonstrate, I'm going to go again to this 50% just to show you how much how much misaligned the image is. Uh, this takes some time. It can take around one to two minutes depending upon the system you are using. So once this will load and complete, you will get the co-registered image. So I'm going to stop this video. 
okay so i don't need to stop the video the image has been co-registered it is looking a bit odd over here but once we save it and then we load it again in the 3d slicer tool which i did it was looking just fine so once we are done with this step we are simply going to save the image to save the images we we have different options that we went through in the last tutorial as well if you want to save the screenshot you can keep this checked otherwise you can uncheck it simply this is also another option which in case you want you can check otherwise i'm simply unchecking it because i do not require it and other than that as you can see my brad sample is of a nifty format right i want this output image also to be of the same format so i'm going to go down this option and select nii.gz okay so once i'm done with this step i need to select the pathway i want to save file either i can go through each file and select the path for one by one or i can simply change the directory for all the selected file after clicking on it i'm going to this uh, download options and then this registration for folder i have created this folder where i want to save my results so i'm simply going to click ok once i'm done with this step i'm going to save this image click to yes to all and then i'm going to save it so once i'm done with this step i'm going to restart this 3d slicer tool and show you how the image look like after it has been co-registered okay so now i have restarted my 3d slicer tool and just to show you how the images look like after they have been co-registered i'm going to click on this add data button again and i am going to input my t1ce file which was the original fixed image and the image which was moving or which was misaligned was the flare image now i'm going to uh, add this co-registered flare to t1ce volume which we created using the manual generate um, uh, using the built-in registration function of the 3d slicer tool so i'm simply going to click on it and drag on it over here and simply going to click ok so once i'm done with this step i'm going to go to the view controller again click the this icon to link all the slices select the t1c on over here or to make sure that it is well aligned with the last example i was working on i'm going to select t1c to be at the bottom and this layer to t1c at the top so as you can see we have the t1c or volume over here when i scroll through the slices you can see that the image is now perfectly aligned which it wasn't when we were working on it earlier so yeah here is what it looks like you can simply perform different operations now and see how it would work as you can see um, if i center align it it is perfectly centrally aligned okay so to recap what we did in this uh, tutorial is we uh, used this registration option which was the general registration option to register the moving image or the flare image to a fixed t1ce image this is how the output looks like it is perfectly aligned and i really hope you found this video useful if you did please like this video and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one